Karl, the Pearl of the Cape Winelands. Discover Pearl and all it has to offer. Experience the eight mile route. The main street of Pearl is the equivalent of eight miles or 12.8 kilometers that meanders through Pearl from the north to the south. Just imagine, imagine a place with more wine than you could ever drink. A street so rich with culture and history, you'd need years to learn it all. You just might forget you came to Africa. Come thirsty. Cheers to Paul. Come hungry. Come ready to chill out and enjoy one of the most tranquil destinations in all of South Africa. This is Paul's eight mile route. Why are we here this morning? We're in focus. No, we're not. It's uh, eight o'clock in the morning and we look better with sunglasses on it. Yeah. Turns out. Life. Hello. Welcome to our um, Ringby Town. We were going to say, why is Paul better than Stellenbosch? Just to create a bit of chaos. The reason we're here in Paul, which is about 40 minutes from Cape Town, is that uh, we think, uh, we're trying to prove the Paul is a better wine region than uh, Stellenbosch and uh, Franzok. I've yeah. just got this special way of pushing a whole bunch of people's buttons and we're pressing every single one. And the That's more good. they give me information, the more I'm like, I'm, it's like a piano. <laughs> Three big cappuccinos. Three big cappuccinos. Is that one with the chocolate in it? Yeah, cappuccino. You guys are at Kika Main now, and then there's a Kika Laboree, and there's a Kika Boulevard as well. Which one's the best? Kika Main. <laughs> There's a young lady over there who was giggling. Who was giggling. So, uh, what's the best thing about Paul? You got to tell us now. You're on camera. The best thing about Paul yes. is the coffee shops, the restaurants, and, and also the rugby in the netball. The netball. The, 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 Do you the, play? The, no. The, the, Why don't you the, play? The, no, I don't play netball. Why not? You're vertically challenged, Stella. <laughs> <laughs> a little, a little bit. We could put the net down for you, couldn't we? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Thanks for all this info. You're a star. It's our first coffee of Paul. The day has begun. I'm Darren Barker from Travel Vids. My name is Dean. We are Travel Vids, the channel where you can learn everything you need to know about traveling to Cape Town, the places to go, the people to meet, the places to eat. And we got invited by the beautiful people at Paul Tourism to come and walk around and see a little bit about Paul. This is the eight mile route. It is the route that goes along the main road of Pal. And uh, the things on the list of to do's for us of the 90 almost listings are going to be breakfast at Kika. Breakfast, what would you recommend? I would recommend our Kika breakfast, our Scotty, and our low cup star. I'm pretty happy that I've ordered the Scotty as it was recommended. The single Scotty? Got a little bit of that. Uh, one over there, one over there. Then one over here. Thank you! You may eat now. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm an excellent food critic. Um, this is Eggs Benedict and I'm going to eat it. <laughs> I've been to a lot of coffee shops. Motorcycle coffee shops, clothes coffee shops, coffee coffee shops, cake coffee shops, but never a flower coffee shop. So, and I know like nothing about flowers. So let's go and ask an expert about what kind of flowers these are. <laughs> Amanda, what are these? That is a protea bands. What is, what, what? Yeah, go and tell me about it because I don't know anything about flowers. I come from the city. Oh. <laughs> so what do you want to know about them? You must tell me about them. What's special about these things? Um, Pau is a, a flower place. We love flowers here. Yeah? So I'm doing the pansas and this is very special in... 
in pop. Yeah. Dean, tell me about the flowers because I know you know. <laughs> Why, yes, I do. <laughs> this here is a king protea. The king protea, the sinoroides. Protea sinoroides, which is Latin for artichoke because the flower, in fact, looks like an artichoke. I'll stop showing off. They're, they're pretty, just look at them. So, um, now for the winter, it's going to be the soldiers in the terrapins. And there's the other flower. The limelight in the pinky. This is the winter flowers. Coffee and flowers. It's a new thing, but uh, I think it's going to catch up. I wouldn't normally have gone into somewhere like that. Way too flowery for me, you know. But the food was great. Breakfast was magic. Coffee was good. So a little, little bit eclectic inside as well, which I quite like. So that was a, a good spot to go to. <laughs> Uh, eight mile route. Eight mile route. Which way is the eight mile route? Both ways. <laughs> Both ways. <laughs> Girlish things to do in Paul is to drive down the main road and see all the beautiful old buildings and all the big trees and to experience the vibe of the locals. Bye, son. Bye, son. Yes. Was he flexing on? Bar. Bar, we are bar people. Yes! What is the this route called? It's the Paul Heritage Route. We're the longest main road in the country. So that's that's quite an important um, fact. This is one of the best preserved historic streets in the country with many original buildings with architectural styles of the last 250 years. And you yes. can see the mountains <laughs> from our main road. Which mountain? Drakenstein Mountain to that side and Paul Rock. I mean, we can see it as we speak now. So I've picked up my, my a girl for the day. She's going to show me around town. So I'm going to practice my Afrikaans, which is pretty shocking. So please tell me what this building is called. OK, this building, uh, the Kubo, it's what? Vakenucht. 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 Did I get it right or not? No. Vakenucht. Fair. 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 Genucht. Genucht. Vakenucht. Okay. Almost. 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 Okay, thank you. It was built in 1899. Okay. It is, um, so it's one kilometer, yes. there's about 32 buildings, 34. more or less, 34 yes. buildings. Where are we now? This one is Het Gesticht. Het Gesticht. Oh my God. <laughs> het Nesticht. Gesticht. <laughs> Gesticht. Is that working or not? Het Nesticht. That's as good as it's going to get, I'm sorry. Het Nesticht. Het Gesticht. Corps Hulandse Heis. It's a Corps Hulandse Heis. Hollandse Heis. It's a Dutch house. Somebody built this house. In 1784. What's the name of this place? The Ode Wurning. Oh, here what? Go. The Ode Wurning. This place is called the Ode Wurning. 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 Say it again. <laughs> the Ode. I, I, I'm here to try the cake. Oh. <laughs> oh. 25 rand a second, sir. I'm not paid. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Can I try this? Yeah, you Alright, I'll let you know. I'm a bit of a connoisseur when it comes to cakes. I'll have you know, be in English and all. <laughs> no problem. Mm. Does it need tea? It, it needs tea. What town are we in? Destroy that tag. That is that. Destroy that tag. Walking up and down the main road, I actually like architecture. I, I do, I like to look at different architecture. I don't want to spend hours there. Like it's, it's a 30 second thing. Like 
wow, that's an interesting building. It looks like this, or it looks like that. Wow, how did somebody build that? So I reckon the, the Art Deco style is definitely more Darren's cup of tea. Are you from Paul? Yes. Okay, what's the coolest thing to do in Paul? Coolest things. Yes, come on. Where would you send us? Come on, what do you do on a Saturday night? Come on. Saturday night. Saturday night. What happens oh. on a Saturday night? Yes, clapping a lot. Not a lot. Language Museum. We're in the tall not monument <laughs> in the museum. So I've always known that Paul has a tall, a, a Paul tall monument. But I didn't know they had a tall museum too. It's quite dark in here, it's old school. Yes. Let's go find a light spot. I'm Verne Gendres. Um, here are you at the Afrikaans Names Museum. I oefen now my Afrikaans. She was by a scene of the acht geweest. <laughs> I think I'm missing out on something here. No running. Now, after all this practicing Afrikaans on me, they brought me to the Afrikaans language school. It's the Afrikaans Tall. What? Museum. Museum. <laughs> So let's go and learn some more Afrikaans. Henry Vertek Bot Peskum Dioelectronisk Sina. Now that's an Afrikaans word for Darren Barker. That's the proper way of saying it. Do we have buffles made in squid moshed with geskid fontein? He found the word. Oh my god, have you seen this thing? It's the whole reason we came here to end off his Afrikaans lesson. I've said it. Two buffels met one squid morse to a geskid fontein. Ganste fontein. Okay. Should I say it for you? No, 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 I think I've got this. So it's two buffels met a squid morse to a geskid fontein. You know what it means, can you decipher that? Two buffaloes. <laughs> yeah. With two something else in no, the morse. With one in the morning. Shot. No. More stuart means like proper dead. Like dead like dead. More dead. Like Very it's proper dead. dead. <laughs> okay. So it literally means two buffaloes with one shot, proper dead, killed Fontaine. Killed Fontaine. What does that mean? It's not <laughs> even a word. Before going to lunch at what was it called? Lunch at Bon Louis. Best burger in town. Oh sure. seriously that burger was good. Yeah. That was definitely, definitely good. Just arrived at the Van Dom, if I've pronounced that correctly, wine estate, where we shall be having some lunch on at uh, the bistro. <laughs> and as I did in the last Paul video, to that shot. Where are we, Jodie? Bon Louis! She's pretty good. <laughs> you should be on our channel. <laughs> You're on the Van Dome Wine Farm at Bon Louis Family Bistro. Come have a visit, it's gonna be awesome, you'll love it. What can you recommend for us to eat today? Burgers. Oh, I've been waiting all day for this. I knew they did them, so I was like, yes. That's the most important thing is that everything we do, it's all about love. What have we got here? Uh, this is a fair burger. 
a what burger? A juicy Scott bacon on it. Yes. Yeah, it's really nice. We had the signature sauce of Juan Luis also on there. What is that? What taste is that? Mmm, taste. Sweet chili. Mmm. Oh, pretty good, eh? <laughs> I'm like a connoisseur. So from a connoisseur's point of view, I'm just going to fill you in on what we have here in front of us. I'm going to slide off the bun off the top just so you can see. Looks like a little bit of guacamole with um, a little bit of cream cheese. I would, no, probably not. It, um, what is that white stuff called? Halloumi, no, no, feta. No, not a feta. That's bacon. It has got a chili, chili sauce, which is really nice. Some tomatoes, but I'm looking for the name of the white stuff. It, you put it in tacos. Come on, Dean. Uh, cream? I don't know. Yeah. Sour cream. Sour cream. That's it. Let me start again. Okay. And we're doing what all good Englishmen do. <laughs> we're having a bite. <laughs> oh, shit, that's good. Oh, Dean. Put down the camera. <laughs> Torture having to watch that. Not get in there. Done. Are you also on the same netball team? No. <laughs> They're taking the challenge netball team. <laughs> Uh, that will be followed by a visit to the family farm stall. So, they say in every town there's a great farm stall. But I want to know what these are really for, because they say they're for ironing, but I think it was for the wives to knock out the husbands for drinking too much in the weekend. And we're in the Wineland, so I believe that these were invented here. Let's go find out. <laughs> so nine of here, Paul North, family farm store in the beautiful city, Paul. There's stuff everywhere. We've got uh, curios and food and ornaments and, ooh, water. From the outside, from the outside, you think it's a small stall, but it's uh, rather large, and they have got everything you could need. Open from 6 a.m. You want ball in the background? Yeah. So they come home on a Saturday night drunk and the wife of Belton. Well, I wouldn't know about that, that's way before my time. Oh right, okay. So I But you know with load shedding, <laughs> when when the power is off for so long, they actually buy it now again and they carry on ironing. No. I've got customers who buy that to warm it and to use it. What can I say about Paul at this moment in time? I can't say that it's any different than going in Stella Bosch or Frank's Hook. No. It's just a little bit more spread out. Yeah. I think Paul has just a lot more in in the realms of what it offers because I think the, the the areas just spread out more. That's mm. all. That's the only difference I can see. And then, of course, we had our cellar tour at KWV with a wine tasting. We're at the KWV and I am a cellar tour guide and I like to take people through the cellar. We have lots of international visitors and then of course we give them a bit of a taste of our, our beautiful products today. I'm waiting for the best part of the tour. Okay, the tasting. Let's go. <laughs> Try 
trying to get this right. So there's like seven different groups of tastings. Um, I think we're gonna have to come one day and try and do one of each. See how far we get. Seven days in a row. No, 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 no. Seven in a row in one sitting. Welcome to the tasting. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, we're going to be tasting some beautiful brands today of the brand spectrum. Okay. Sorry, can I interrupt for a second? Sure. Uh, what, where are we going later? <laughs> <laughs> do, we, do we drink all these or do we just taste them? I'm drinking them. All of them? Yeah. Do you have Uber in this town? <laughs> yeah, we do. We do. I think we, we should have checked in first. <laughs> But I think this is the reason people come to this town. Yeah. Or it, it, it shouldn't be the only reason, and I think that's a big part of why we're making this video, is to show yeah. what else there is, and there's yeah. a lot, but it doesn't change the fact that it's one of the main reasons why it people come It is one of our here. main attractions. Yeah. Wine, definitely. I think if you come to South Africa, it's like one of the top things on your list to go and you know, do a wine tasting. I think the cool thing about going to KWV is you didn't get just wine. You got to taste a 15 year old brandy and some really cool gin and like a, a you know a cream liqueur which you're not going to get at most vineyards. It's fancy it's like sticking something in a barrel for 15 years hoping to get your money back. So here was my choices. Number one, number four and number how many is that? Five. But it's probably the best gin I've ever tasted. And it turns out it won a massive award and in 2019. No, it's actually true. Right? Which, yeah, you don't have to believe me, look it up. Pleasure, that was fun. Really appreciate it. <laughs> okay. So we are at the African Pearl. Oh, that's nice. Put it off, but that's an R for the remote. Okay. And the G is for the gate. There's a time lapse on the gate. All right. Get in your car. Get your ass in gear and get the hell out of there. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Very nice. This is, yeah, unfortunately, this is the only room I've got for you two guys for the night. So. Oh, we're used to sweating, sleeping in a double bed. We've been there before. <laughs> Well, to sleep with me again, you can pitch a tent for him outside. <laughs> There's some water and some juice. Oh, he needs water now because he's no. just been drinking the whole afternoon. Okay. Yeah. Can I give you some coffee tomorrow morning? Coffee and biscuit. Say yes. Coffee? <laughs> <laughs> this is an Afrikaans coffee and biscuit. Yeah, okay, yeah. biscuit. It is just after 5 pm. We've checked in at the Africa Pearl guest house in the middle of Pal. We're actually just off the main road, close to where the Tourism Bureau is. So the Africa Pearl is a very small guest house, a boutique guest house with four bedrooms. Once you're here, you can park your car and you don't really need to drive anywhere to get to all the uh, sort of restaurants are just here on the main road, road up, and then you've got like the Berg River, just a block down that way. One thing is that we knew we were coming here to do a lot of downtime, a lot of chill things, a lot of relaxing because I think that's what this area is supposed to be all about. But we are pooped, we're exhausted. <laughs> it was time for a snooze before we have dinner at that old building we saw on the historic walk earlier. We'll see you a bit later. So yeah, I think everything's here. Yeah. Truthfully, I think more affordable. Yeah, it is. And it's not it definitely super touristy. Is. What I love about Paul is the fact that it's not this touristic town. They've said that it's non-touristy, which is great for tourists. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going out to eat at a restaurant tonight. As we're walking here, the sun might be gone in the village already, but it's definitely hitting the mountains on the, the Toys Kloof side. Between the buildings, you get like the last light glowing off the mountains. The, the Toys Creek Mountains. It's really stunning as you walk along the road here. It's just like... Let me, let me show you. Change the lens. I'm <laughs> sorry.
Hello. 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 For us, what we're trying to do, being in the middle of the winelands and being in town here, is we try to bring um, all the produce from the farm into town and have that nice offering, fresh offering on our menu or from the daily. You, are you just sleeping around the corner? Yeah, yeah. we walk. We can roll yeah. down there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Very much of this. From the pasture, the cow. He goes in the patch too. We saw him today actually, it'd be cool. Are we going ribeye or filet? I'd say ribeye. Crispy, slow roasted pork belly. I'm taking off this piece first. <laughs> first? Pork? Cornet. How's it going on, Darren? Come on. Right. Oh, so we just walked? Yeah, we just walked. Yeah. <laughs> there's there's me, your squad. Are you from Park? Yeah, I'm from here. Tell me all about farms. Yeah. We've got wine farms. Yeah, and a lot of it. And so is Stellenbosch. Yeah, we've got better wine farms than Stellenbosch. I'm trying to. Yeah, we've got better. You got better than that. Hey, he's got the best food. If you're in Paul, come to Bax. You're going to have the best food here. Hands down. That's the end of day one, people. Join us. Subscribe. Uh, leave your comments below. Ask us questions. Get involved. Moan at us. Laugh with us. Cry with us. Drink wine with us, because that is what's going to happen a lot in the next few days. Thanks for watching. This was the first video in a series covering the 11 routes found in the Winelands Meander booklet, covering Paul and Wellington. Stay tuned and subscribe for more content from this 10-day journey. Lots more adventure ahead with quad bikes and paintball, scenic hikes, epic monuments, misbehaving on the golf course, cheetahs, loads more wine, and lots, lots more.